inserting a logo here instead of just having plain text is pretty easy as long as you have Firebug. Now I explained Firebug in a different tutorial and that tutorial was called Firebug Explained. So if you haven't seen that one, go look through my channel and my YouTube videos and find it and uh, watch it. All right, I'm assuming that you've seen the video. So let's go ahead and just click on the fire, Firebug icon. And what we do is we inspect by clicking here, this right here. And we can see that it's where the site title is, and it's in between two spans. And that is where this stuff is right here. So we can just put hello. And that right here is where we want the image. So if you see this A, the slash A right here, we want it right before that. So we want the image to be right before that. We want the image to be here. All right, let's see how to do that. So let's log into, let's make a new tab and let's log into our WordPress. And once we're logged in, under appearance, we want to go to editor. And this whole area right here, this whole area is called the header. It gets loaded in every page. And you can find it if you go right here, header.php. So that's where all this code is, is right here in this header.php. Now let's look, take a look again and let's see something that we can copy and paste that's unique to this so we can find it. So I see site title. Let's copy that because it's very close to this span. But since there are multiple spans, perhaps, on this page, then we don't want to copy span because it could be up here or somewhere else. So let's copy site title because that's unique to this area right here. And we're going to try to find this area right here, which did say simple is key. It said the blog name. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac and press Control V because we pasted, we pasted site-title. And now we can see that it's here. So it says site title and then there's that span and then there's the ending span and then this is the slash A that we're looking for. And if we look at this code right here, it says start the PHP code and then give the blog info, give the name of the blog it's saying. So that's what we saw before. That's We saw simple is key there. We saw simple is key right here. And that's what we want to change. So we can put text in there, but what we really want to do is we want to put an image there. So we're going to do an image, and the code for an HTML image is img src, which stands for image source, equals, and then in two quotes, you put the image between these two, and then you end it. I have a video tutorial on how to do an image, so you can take a look at that, and how to do a link, so that might make this, it may make more sense after you watch that video, but this is some PHP code that you don't really need to worry about too much. So we have the image source equals that. And now we need to upload an image and put it in between these two quotes. So let's go to media, open up a new tab, and let's add new. Now I have my logo here, and it's kind of sized to the web, not really. So we're going to see what happens. We may need to resize it. And let's copy this. This is the image URL. So if we go to just to the image, we'll just see the image there. All right, now let's find where that was. And we see that it's image source right here. And in between the two quotes, the image source equals that, what we just uploaded. 
Now hopefully if we press update file, we will see when we click refresh the image there. And sure enough we do. So that's how to upload an image, that's how to upload your logo instead of the text. And we can notice that if we click on this, it'll still go back to the home page. So everything is working fine there. And if you want to get rid of these lines and everything, that takes a little CSS. And if you have any problems, just let me know and I would love to make a video to help you.